Yehuah, hear my cry, keep me safe till the storm passes on, till the storm passes over, till the thunder sounds no more. Till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast, let me stand in the hollow of the hand. Keep me safe till the storm. no more till the clouds roll forever from the sky hold me fast let me stay in the hollow of thy hand keep me safe till praises to Yahuwah Elohim Most High Creator of the heavens and the earth and the seas and the fountains of waters tonight your Sabbath begins with rain. Your Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon of the 11th biblical lunar month, Shabbat 8, begins with rain. And I am here to declare that seven days had passed approximately two hours ago. Also, the six working days of the first week of the 11th biblical lunar month. And your Sabbath is here. 
and Yah commanded that his people Israel keeps the Sabbath day holy. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the day of rest. And Yahuwah spake to the people in the time of Ezekiel, commanding that during the six working days, the gate towards the east of this court should be closed. But on the new moon and on the Sabbaths, it should be open for worship. Thus, it is time for Yahusha to be worshipped on his holy Sabbath day of rest. I am also here on the street despite the rain to remind the world, to mind Israel in particular, to remind Hebrew Israelites in particular that it has now that six days, that one lunar year, one month, three weeks, and three days have also passed since the system has been persecuting Grandmaster Jay, charging him with false charges because he dare to raise up and teach the truth which Rome has hidden from us, yours Hebrew people, and also to stand up and defend and seek justice for Yahuwah, Hebrew people, Hebrew Israelite people, whom Rome, whom this Rome system has been murdering in the streets and in their homes. And now today on Yah's Holy Sabbath, seeing that the sun has already set, it is now one lunar year, one month, three weeks and four days since Grandmaster Jay's first and second amendment rights has been stripped from him. And I am here to declare that Yahuwah is not pleased. I am here to point out that the earth is crying out and the cities and the towns and the nations are being destroyed as a result of what the system has done to Grandmaster Jay, Yah's anointed servant from the priestly tribe of Levi, Yahuwah commanded in Psalms 105, I believe, that we, that we should touch not Yahuwah's anointed, neither should we do his prophets no harm. But we see throughout time that that is what this Rome system has been doing to Yah's prophet. The system did it in the time of Yahusha. The system did it in the time of Yero Jeremiah. And so like the, apost the apostle Shaul or Paul as they call him declares 
that all who live righteously will suffer persecution. And so Yahusha him says, says, Blessed are you who are persecuted for righteousness sake. We are to rejoice and be glad for so persecuted the prophets which were before you. And so I can say of a truth that since the time of Moses and Yahusha, I have not seen a righteous man such as Grandmaster Jay. Like Yahusha, he encouraged the people and set them at liberty not to be enslaved with the doctrine of our, of this, our slave masters, but that we should return to the old part where Yahuwah has led for his people Israel. And so we can see that it's like the climate itself has changed since the fall's arrest of Grandmaster Jay. On that day, I remember that the sun refused to shine and the moon changed courses. And now, here is your Sabbath. And I have noticed that four weeks, and this is going to be the five, the fifth weeks, that Yah's wrath has been pouring out upon the land on his holy Sabbath day. Now, the, the first quarter of the moon would usually be seen at this time declaring that your Sabbath is here. But last night it did. Tonight it, it's not, it, is, it is not out because it is raining. But this is your Sabbath. The day that Yahuwah has blessed. The day that Yahuwah has sanctified. The day that Yahuwah has set apart for his people Israel to worship him and I am convinced that if Yahuwah was being worshipped on his holy Sabbath day as written in the word that the glory of Yahuwah would come down and shine upon the congregation like in the past but Rome has hidden Yahuwah's Sabbath in the working days of the week and Rome has also removed and divorced Yah's Sabbath from the phases of the moon from the new moon and from the four phases of the moon it is raining and I probably won't be able to read from the word this evening because of the rain but in Isaiah 66 verses 22 and 23 Yahuwah declared through Isaiah, Isaiah the prophet, when he says, For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, so shall your seed Israel remain, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, 
and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, says Yahuwah. The book of Proverbs, I believe, mentioned that we should train up the child in the way that he should grow so that when he is old, he will not depart from it. But as we can see, Rome has trained, has trained this world to defy Yah's law and to break Yah's law and teach the people that they are not saved by the law but by their grace. And as a result, it is the hardest thing for those of us who have grown up keeping Saturday as the Sabbath to switch to yours, creation Sabbath, because that is how we were grown. And it is difficult and it is hard. We do not like changes. We fight against changes. And so it is difficult. But for those of us who will please Yahuwah rather than man, we will, by the grace of Yahuwah, forget Rome's pagan, pagan Saturday Sabbath and we will worship Yahuwah on his holy Sabbath which is determined by the new moon. Well, I have been going through the prophets and I have discovered that Yahuwah has bestowed his love and his blessing and his covenant with Israel. But I also learned that Israel rebelled against Yahuwah who brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage and have broken Yah's laws and covenant. Ro, uh, Israel polluted Yah's Sabbath. Israel went into idolatry. And as a result, Yahuwah has caused Israel to be taken into captivity, to be enslaved to perish by sword and by famine and by pestilence. And now it is the time to return to Yahuwah, our maker. It is time to come out of Babylon. Like Yahuwah declares in Revelation, 14, 6 to 12, and also Revelation 18, 1 to 4. Come out of her, my people. Babylon is falling, is falling. Come out of her, my people, so that he will not receive of her, pla of her plagues. Israel have forsaken your Sabbath. Many of us as Hebrew Israelites know that Saturday was fixed by Constantine. But we are ignoring Yah's word and we hold on to Rome's fixed Saturday Sabbath. Now is the time to leave. 
Babylon and return to Yah's Sabbath. Now it's time to put away the, to, to make a difference between the holy and the profane. Yah's Sabbath that is determined by the new moon and the four phases of the moon are holy, just, and good. It is sanctified. Exodus 31, 1 to 7. One, Exodus 31, 12 to 17 declares that the Sabbath is a sign between Israel and Yahuwah as a perpetual covenant throughout all their generations. And Isaiah declares that if you are willing and if you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and if you rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken it. For those who will not let Grandmaster J go, I would, I would advise them to do so before Yahuwah destroy the face of the earth for Grandmaster J's sake and for Israel's sake. We remember when Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses, your servant. How Yah's judgment poured out upon Miriam and she became a leper. Those people involved, Yahuwah's judgment are upon them. And it won't be upon them alone, but on their children. When we sin against Yah and against Yah's people, as individuals, the destruction does not remain with us alone. It also, re, it also are poured out upon the children, upon the servants, and everything that we possessed. When Achan stole the Babylonish garment and the wedge of gold and the, and the silver, it was not Achan alone that was torn to death, but his family, his children, and everything he possessed, they were stoned to death. Well, I don't have much time as usual, but Yah's promise to Israel is sure and abundant. I am not sure if I'll able to turn to some of the promises because it is raining and the time is short. But Yahuwah promised to bless his people and to cause his people to return, to return to the land which he has given to our fathers. Because of the rain, I may not be able to, to read what Yahuwah's promise to us is abundant. And numerous and Yahuwah has promised to to, to 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 that he that he will remember us while we are in the land of our captivity and I don't know if I can read a few verses because Mm, because of the rain, let me see what I can get done 
because it is important that we know that Yahuwah is with us and that the Elohim of Jacob is our refuge. So I'm going to rush through a portion of this reading. Yes, wind is blowing, rain is falling, nature is against what I'm doing right now. But I'm trying because I want us to be of good courage and not to be afraid. He says, and lo, they are cast out to the heat of the day and to the frost of the night. Speaking about Israel, and they died in great miseries by famine, by sword, and by pestilence. The house which is called by thy name has thou laid waste. This is Burak speaking, praying to Yahuwah. As it is to be seen this day for the wickedness of the house of Israel and the house of Judah. O Yahuwah, our Elohim, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all thy great mercy of thine as thou speakest to thy servant Moses in the land when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel if he will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where we, where I will scatter them. For I know that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am Yahuwah their Elohim for I will give them a heart and a ear to hear and, shall and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And I will return and they and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they have, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned against Yahuwah and I will bring them again to the land which I promise with an oath unto their fathers Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and they sh shall be rulers of it and I will increase them and they shall no more be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their Elohim. And they shall be my people. And they shall be my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. So... Yahuwah will remain, will renew his promise with Israel. 
Yahuwah will renew his covenant with us, his Hebrew Israelite people. So now let us hearten unto the word of Yahuwah. Let us keep his Sabbath day holy. Let us love each other. Let us defend each other. Let us bear one another's burden and so fulfill the word of Yahuwah. The time is ticking and there's not much time. But Yahuwah promised to give Israel a new heart and a new spirit. And Yahuwah promised that Israel will return to their own land and there will be one nation, one shepherd, and one king. And David, my servant, will rule over them. This is Yah's word. Happy Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon of the 11th biblical month, which falls on Mondays and Rome's Gregorian calendar. Let us heed the word of Yahuwah when he says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword for the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken it. Have a happy Sabbath. Let us reverence Yahuwah. Let us obey him. And may we return to Yah's commandment. Keep his Sabbath day holy so that we will be able to enter into this kingdom of Yah. Shalom. Shalom. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the gate through the city. Shalom. Shalom.